Hi, my name is Joel Huff. I am the chef at Tide's Restaurant at the Four Seasons Biltmore in Santa Barbara. Uh, today we're going to be making spherification of sangria. Um, it's actually a two-step process, which we're going to be showing you. Um, first process will be the uh, actual making of the sangria. First, we want to get a nice jar, and we want to start with the ingredients. We have, uh, obviously, a, a Spanish red. We have a brandy. We're also using uh, Remy Red. It's a berry liqueur, and some soda water. Um, first, you want to just pour the red wine in. We're going to do a whole bottle of red wine. Uh, one shot of brandy. One shot of Remy Red. And about three cups of soda water. We're also going to use garnishes today. We have Meyer lemons. We have some limes. Some oranges and some fresh cut apple. We also have a fresh Tahitian vanilla bean, which I'm gonna split in half. Scrape. And also stick in there. Just give it a good stir. It's best to let this sit about uh, two to three hours. Uh, let's let everything permeate and you get all the flavors of the fruit. So we're making spherification of sangria. After making the sangria, we strain it through a chinois. The process of making spherification is a process of a liquid is jellified on the outside and liquid in the middle. There's three natural components that we're gonna be using today. Calcic, which is a salt. Algin is, is a red seaweed from New Zealand. And uh, xanthan gums, which is a natural thickener. After straining uh, the sangria, we add the calcic and we let that sit for 24 hours. For the algin bath, the seaweed bath, we make that 24 hours in advance um, and let that sit. The other components we have here are just plain water. We use actually pure water. And then we also have the uh, no uh, additive into plain sangria. Osmosis happens within um, a period of time. So whatever the spherification sits in, it's gonna grab onto the flavor. So um, that's why we use the red wine sangria uh, to let it hold. So we're going to be using a teaspoon to make the sphere. This is our, our calcic red wine. We take a teaspoon of the red, the uh, sangria and we add it, add it to our algin bath. allowing it to solidify. I let that sit for two minutes. After two minutes, I use a slotted spoon, pulling the spherification out of the seaweed bath into the fresh water. After it sits in the water, we plunge it into the plain sangria, which you have the small sphere. To plate, we use a small spoon. We retrieve the spherification out of the liquid we pat it dry. This is a little vanilla syrup. So a very small amount of vanilla syrup. This is a citrus segment, so we take a small citrus segment. Uh, julienne of apple. And also, we use a little lemon zest and a little orange zest. And there we have spherification of sangria. And as you can see, the spherification is solid on the outside and liquid on the middle. So then when you put it in your mouth, it explodes.